I've just entered the casements, the Rockefeller Center. This is Santa's chair. Focus camera. Photo. Everything is so sparkly and pretty in here. Well, just wait. You haven't seen anything yet. Can't get it all in one picture. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm going to go in this other room. I'm going to go into the Akam's Magical Forest. Oh, look at that. Here we go. This is like this is my favorite room of this whole place every year. This gets me in the Christmas mood, coming in places like this. Oh, look at that. So cool. Oh. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing with the camera angles, I'm just taking photos from a contest that I enter. And it's easier to take them while I'm making my videos. Oh shit, are you serious? That's my, that's mine. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that is seriously mine. That's my handwriting and all. And I forgot to dot my eye, I remember. Um, I didn't know they were going to incorporate ornaments that we made here a few years back into the trees. That is awesome. That was my stage name. I was Miss Dixie. Exotic dancer. <laughs> and more. This is just so pretty. Somebody's getting a horse purse. Oh, I love this. That is gorgeous. A little closer. See, I have horse ornaments all over my tree at home. Well, I've been collecting them and making them since I was a kid. Hmm. Beautiful. And there's an angel tree. Santa. Okay, where is everybody? 
Oh man, the forest was about to get filled up with old people. It's gonna ruin my video. They're doing the tour. And I'm just going it alone. I've done the tour. Maybe I should take y'all on the tour one day. I could do that. Oh, these are cute. Santa Claus, North Pole. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love all the little mailboxes. This is all about postal. Letters to Santa. And look at that. It is the United States Post Office. Into our oh. 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 I think you got room enough to get everybody in here. Then I'll let you wander. Come on. This I guess we're joining the tour. A magic forest. Uh, Bob Acom and his wife uh, have put this room together for many years. Last year he was waiting in his big mercury at Williamson and LPGA, waiting at the light. Somebody ran a red light and... Three days later, Bob was died. He knew more about this house than anybody else in the world. And so in his honor, we named this Acom's Magic Forest. What happens is a lot of the businesses in town will donate these trees, have them all decorated. They do the decorating uh, for our Magic Forest. Uh, and then come the first part of January, they will take them down and, and head them and them out. So uh, this would have been the guest room. Mr. Rockefeller stayed here, of course, while the uh, second or the third floor was being built and his special wing. But then who else stayed in here? Well, I mentioned the name Will Rogers before, and I don't think I have to explain who he was. <laughs> when I have young folks in, they haven't got a clue who Will Rogers is. I'm not that young. I'm 44. <laughs> well, that's young to us. That's just a spring chicken over there, right? <laughs> I've got a grandbaby, sir. <laughs> so, um, of course, uh, the Prince of Wales has stayed in this room, as has uh, Sir Malcolm Campbell. <coughs> Excuse me, that race car driver. Um, Oh, Mr. Firestone, mm. of the tires, Firestone. Yeah. Well, that's just a name for you. I'm not going to look, name them all. You wander around and take a good look at these trees and enjoy them. They are beautiful. Well, I have a question for you. Sure. Somewhere in the beginning of your speech, you mentioned the, I believe the original owner of this house, something or the Harwood. Huntington, yes. Dr. Dr. Rodeo, Harwood. I have no idea. I know they wound up. I know they wound up in uh, California. There's a lot of Huntington's in California. Oh, oh, I love this ornament. Wander oh, through our forest. Okay. <laughs> No, I'm not with y'all. That's the cameras club. You know, 
got some nice photography on here. Little cute ornaments. Ah. Oh, how slick. These people are creative. The Environmental Discovery Center. I'll have to take y'all there one day. That's just down the road. Gotta have the Florida Gator. Of course. Squirrels. Oh, I love the bumblebee. Oh, it's awesome. And of course, y'all can follow them on Facebook. See, I like this view right here because it looks like you're in this big giant forest. And that's just a mirror magnifying all the or reflecting all the trees back at you. The, the mirrors make it awesome. They make it look bigger. Than it is. I love this room. Oh, this is definitely my favorite room in here. All right, back to the trees. Hi. Yeah. All right, back to the trees off of me. <laughs> Sorry about my face, y'all. This one is. Enviro Campers Camp Ruby Red Christmas. Yep, still taking pictures. <laughs> I have lots of editing to do. Plus, these go in my photo album, my revolving photo album. I have two computers at home that have nothing to do but show photos that I've taken through my life, of my life, I'm my own paparazzi. If I don't record my life, nobody will. And I take pictures and videos of everything I see. Don't be surprised to see yourself in it one day.
So, yeah, like I said, this is my favorite room in this whole house. I love the forest. And this is made by the Ormond Beach Garden Club. I love the pine cones around the base. That is a great touch. Gives me an idea, but my cats would have a fit. I'd have pine cones all over the house. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's get a few still shots in the video. Oh, look at the little birdhouse. It's awesome. Oh, this one is Carol and David Benson. Oh, I love this tree. Look at that. Little birds everywhere. Focus camera. Oh, look at these. Turn your face around here. Don't be shy. I love owl ornaments. I've got like so many new ones to put on my tree at home. I can't wait to get it all finished. We're hope Hopefully we'll have it finished today. And I can make a little video and post it. And y'all can see my tree. This year, I think I'm going to be outdoing myself. It's already got 1,500 lights on it. So. <sighs> this tree is great. I love the frosting. The snow on it. <laughs> this stuff is like. That's great stuff right there. Awesome. Some more owls in there. He looks like he's a tweeter. <laughs> Ooh, there's a black bear. He's awesome. Got the picture. Stupid camera. Is it working right now? I hope it holds on to the video. There. All right. Let's make it to the top of the tree. Ooh, so pretty. It's... Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to be a tough decision on which is my favorite tree this year. Likey the birds. I really do. Oh, I missed the bird nest. Look, it's mommy and daddy and the babies. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's great. It's just great. Oh, there's a hummer. Let's move to the next tree. This one is Daytona Playhouse. This one will be interesting. Back it up some. Take in the whole tree. Did I do that with that one? Let's see. No, we didn't. We just did some close-ups. All right. Back to this one. Yes, my videos are as OCD as I am, ADD, whatever you call it, ADHD. So these have pictures of people in plays, little story bits. Yeah, this is my least favorite tree so far. I'm not feeling that one. Still a pretty tree from afar. Ha! Huh. All right, the next tree. Song of the Coast Chorus. And it's a, it's a little, my height, maybe a little more. Yeah. yeah, it's about a six foot tree. I'm five four. But it's all right. It's a tiny one. Pray to the rest of them in here. It's got music notes. Oh, that's a cute one.
They should have the tree motion sensor music. <laughs> Where it plays music. Since it's about music. Oh, that's a cute one. People are so creative with their ornaments these days. I don't know what's happened to my creative bone. It's gone to sleep or something. <laughs> Next is Amber's Jewels Catering. Let's get you all in. Joy, 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 down in my soul. I got that joy, 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 joy. <laughs> ah, yeah, stupid me. I'm an idiot. Say, so this one's a plain, boring tree to me. Just balls. <laughs> balls are boring. They have to have some kind of decoration other than balls <laughs> to keep my interest. <laughs> yes. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> this one's pretty from afar. Of course, they're all pretty from afar. So when you get close, Magnolia Garden Club. All right, let's see. These are people that I don't know. Why would you do your tree in the faces of people that nobody knows except for you? <laughs> oh, and they got her on there multiple times. One, two, three. <laughs> Same picture. Oh, well. Another least favorite, so. Oh, well, I'm sorry, my bad. Not to speak ill of the dead. That's why they got her on here a lot. This is in memory. So, you go, girl. Yep. That's why you're on there so much. They want to remember you. All right, I'll give you that. Here, everybody remember this lady. I didn't know her, but she was a great person, apparently. <laughs> All right. Let's just do another look back through. Me likey, likey, this place. It's so pretty. So, my favorite. As usual, will always be the horse tree. Although, I do like the, oh wait, you know what, I think these are the names of the horses in the stable. Ha <laughs> ha, they got a horse named Dixie. I remember doing one of these though, here, like three or four years ago, they had an ornament making thing and you had to leave your ornaments. And I didn't want to put my real name on it, so I just put that name on it. My stage name. <laughs> Anyways, oh well. I'm a dumbass. I'm allowed to be a dumbass sometimes. But these are all cute. Sorry, I'm stuck on the tree. Ooh, look at you. So we got lots of horses. This one says, food, treats, let me out. <sighs> Repeat. <laughs> well, all you need is love and a horse. Ain't that true? All right. That's going to be my favorite tree still.
bird tree coming in. Second. Guys, I'm really feeling it. I'm loving this tree. So, it's just gorgeous. It looks like it goes on and on, but it doesn't. Alright, I think we're done in this room. I think we gotta go upstairs now. Thank you. 
Christ's signature covered in the standard oil. People lit their homes with candles and heated them with coal or wood. The candles were dim and the coal was dirty. Rockefeller's affordable kerosene, processed crude oil, made the world brighter, warmer, cleaner, and better for everyone. We must ever remember, Rockefeller wrote to one of his partners in 1885, we are refining oil for the poor man, and he must have it cheap and good. Rockefeller loved the business of business. He attended to every detail, always with the same goal, saving the customer money. That he made so much of it himself was a byproduct. He was also scrupulously honest. His first partner, Maurice Clark, said, if there was a cent to a customer, he wanted the customer to have it. Rockefeller displayed genius in getting creative ideas from his employees at Standard Oil. He paid them well and rarely had labor problems. He generously rewarded his chemists and engineers when they found new ways to get more kerosene out of a barrel of oil. Other oil refiners dumped oil waste in the nearby rivers. That repulsed Rockefeller who was perhaps the greatest environmentalist of his age. Not only was he a great lover of nature, he was the ultimate recycler. He believed there was a God-given use for every particle in a barrel of oil, and he was determined to find it. After the kerosene had been removed, of these. Rockefeller's just staff this. found uses for Ooh, the remaining components. That's for another day. The gasoline. Definitely for another day. Let's All the cars were paid. It's hard to imagine that the automobile industry See, would take any. come into <laughs> existence without the availability of Rockefeller's cheap oil. When Henry Ford was ready with his Model T, Rockefeller was ready to supply the gas. By the early decades of the new century, millions of Americans had jobs in oil-related industries, and these jobs helped build the American middle class. Hi. As Rockefeller said, we saw the vast possibilities of the oil industry stood at the center of it and brought our knowledge and imagination and business yeah. experience to bear in a dozen take a picture and here and on direction. this side but that doesn't Why belong to us it came from a museum okay and we are not allowed to give out picture no from here but you okay. can take all the picture you want to hear all right and the set away okay thank you i'm sorry i didn't know this church two missions in new york city Oh, wow. He believed in the biblical admonition that not money, but the love of money was the root of all the Another Christmas tree. Oh, yeah, this is the Rockefeller room.
So I guess that concludes this tour of the Rockefeller Center, the casements of Ormond Beach. I got to see what rooms I got to see. And some of them were blocked off. Some say no photography allowed. And you've seen I got into a little, well, I got a little reprimanded. But, you know, it's okay. It's all good. Because you got to see the beauty of the Christmas. back down the stairs. So I don't know. I think maybe we'll go outside. Yes, we'll go outside. I don't want to cut it off yet. So. This is the door I came in. these beautiful poinsettias. Oh, and Florida has sunshine today. It's beautiful. It's about 75 degrees right now. It's a little after 10 o'clock. They always decorate so beautifully inside. Let's walk up here and see the deer.
Do our duty and set the poor things back on their feet. There you go. Sorry, I'm not much more entertaining. I don't like to show my face on camera as much as most people do. I'm a little narcissistic, but just not completely. <laughs> I like showing things I see and sharing things I do more so than showing who I am. Because nobody needs to see me. I'm just an average, ordinary nobody. Oh, wait, we got the big tree. I almost forgot. Durr. <laughs> I feel like half an idiot. Well, we shall cross over. Uh, oh, nothing will come that way. <laughs> And that's a monster tree. It always is. Ooh, sun's so bright, I gotta put on my shades. My future's so bright. I gotta wear some shades, man. Let's see if I can get over here and take some cool photos. Where it looks like the sun is on top of the tree lighting the star. Can't really see. Sun's in my eyes. Ooh, that looks good, don't it? Let me see if I can do that. Snap, snap. Photo app. Come on. Focus. Get back into the center. Sun. Wait, where am I going? There we go. Boom, boom. That's kind of cool looking. Back out, back out. Camera don't want to work. things 30 40 feet easy I'm a bad judge of distance but it's up there <laughs> Going 
because I mean, look at me right here to there. Look at all that up there, and I'm five foot, <laughs> five four, excuse me, five four and a half. Who's counting halves though, right? But there are some women that'll argue half inch does matter. See, these trees are always decorated ghetto, these ghetto balls, <laughs> but it's still pretty, I guess. Pretty fucking big. Oh, I'm going to make an hour video. Look at that. I don't see anything else decorated, really. I don't know why the flag's at half mast. What am I missing out on? <laughs> back to the car. I got things to do. Alright. I hope y'all enjoyed the tour of the Rockefeller Center. The casements. Holidays at the casements. I might have time to take you over to the other place. A little museum across the way. I have to shut the camera off to check my phone. To see what freaking time it is. See if I have time to go to the other museum. But this place is worth visiting. It's free. There's your little info. It's free, it's pretty, it's decorated, it's festive, it'll get you in the holiday mood. Oh, and they have a Santa's mailbox outside for Santa's letters, and they actually will answer. So if your child has any wishes for Christmas, I would say let them drop a letter in here and have your return address on it so that Santa can answer your child. Casements. Built in 1913 by Reverend D. Harwood Hart Huntington. The casements is named for its casement style windows. Uh, well, duh. <laughs> Retired Standard Oil tycoon John D. Rockefeller Sr. purchased it in 1918 as a winter residence in hopes that it would support his desire to live to age 100. Known locally as Neighbor John... Rockefeller spent winters here enjoying golf, watching automobile racing on the beach, and meeting birthplace of speed race drivers. He also spent time socializing at the Hotel Ormond and welcoming the company of friends such as Will Rogers, Harvey Firestone, Thomas Edison, and Henry Ford. Rockefeller died in his bedroom here in May 1937, just short of his 97th, 98th birthday. Allegedly, his heirs intended to have the casements raised following his death. Instead, it was sold in 1940 to Maud Van Woy, owner and headmistress of the Fairmont Junior College of Washington, D.C. Van Woy transformed the building into the casements junior college. 
Following the closing of the college in 1951, the casements then served as a religious retirement facility and school. Later, it became Casements Manor, a secular retirement facility and transient hotel, and finally the Ormond Hotel Casements. Continued on the other side. So let's go to the other side. The casements continued from the other side. <laughs> the property, which included a separate cottage called South House, was expanded through the years by each owner's addition of staff residences, garage apartments, and dormitories. It fell into an extended period of owner neglect and was finally abandoned. Again, destined to be raised in the night. Late 1960s, the casements was served by local citizens, saved by local citizens. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1973, and the city of Ormond Beach purchased the property in 1974, year I was born. <laughs> it was restored with a Federal Economic Development Administration grant under the Local Public Works Act in 1978 and reopened in 1979 as a community enrichment center of Ormond Beach, a historical, educational, and cultural facility, also hosting community events. With the additions removed, the casements evokes the residence built by Reverend Dr. Huntington and purchased by John D. Rockefeller. The state of Florida designed John D. Rockefeller a great Floridian in November 2000. Hmm. All right, there's a little history. History on the mystery. <laughs> Not so much mystery. All right. Let's go see what else we can get into. This is Ormond Beach Skywatcher. Melly sees you. Signing off.